What's up YouTube, it's Adrian from MMOs World, welcome back to the channel, and we are bringing you another recap of all the major MMORPG news that happened throughout the week, so sit tight and soak it in. We are starting the news this week with Outpost Games multiplayer survival game SOS. I've been really impressed with this game because of what it brings to the battle royale genre with its player performance aspects. If you haven't already, check out our first impressions video on our channel. The good news is, SOS is finally coming to Steam's early access on January 23rd. Players will be able to buy and play the game for $29.99 USD. Moving on, Korean MMORPG Bless Online has shared some exclusive insights about their game's dungeons when it releases in a new blog post this week on their Steam store page. Besides the usual hype about dungeons requiring class tactics and strategy, they also teased that there will be a number of dungeons that will closely tie into the Bless main story. All in all, Bless Online will have a variety of dungeon sizes ranging from solo dungeons all the way up to 10 man delves. This is great as it offers something for everyone. Up next, The Elder Scrolls Online is having its ESO Plus bonus event this week, offering plus trials to all players. ESO Plus is the game's subscription, giving players access to DLC content in addition to the crafting materials bag and bonus XP rewards. The event will last until January 15th. For existing Plus members, be sure to log in daily for free crown loot crates and you can earn 6 in total if you've been logging in since the 9th of January. Elsewhere, Mu Ignition's open beta has arrived this week and players were able to check out WebZen's latest browser-based MMORPG for free. The beta started on the 8th and ended yesterday on the 11th, but not before we managed to jump in for a quick look. To watch our first impressions of the hack and slash browser game, head on over to the review section of our channel. Onward now and Life is Feudal MMO has been released on Steam's early access this week. The medieval hardcore sandbox game has been in close beta for some time now and has added plenty of updates for players over the previous months. From today onward, everyone can jump in and get stuck into building, crafting and taking part in combat within this huge world. You can do so by purchasing an early access package from the Steam store. And finally this week, Black Desert Online Southeast Asia is now open for early access head start to all Legendary Pack founders. Those who have pre-ordered the Legendary Packs can now make their way into the game and begin your adventure. For everyone else, the next head start opens in a few days and everyone else will be able to jump in on January 17th. And that wraps up our MMO news recap for the week. For more MMORPG news as it happens, head on over to our website at MMOsWorld.com. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MMO content. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMOs World, signing out.